What's up YouTube, Jamie the Kid Zero Zero here, and I'm, uh, as you can see in the title, and while you're watching this video, is I just got in from the Order of Chaos sneak peek, our first one of the weekend, we're going to two, uh, and I've built, managed to trade for most of the cards for my Evol deck. So I'm um, here to profile it to you, there are a couple of proxies still in here for just stuff that I managed to, I, I missed, well wasn't, wasn't actually pulled, I managed to get all the Evol stuff that was actually pulled on the weekend. So, um... Yeah, I don't really have much to say on the matter, so um, I'm going to have like my swag list up tomorrow after we've been to the second sneak peek. So for those of you who want to know what else I managed to get, stay tuned for that. But this is going to be my Evol deck, and I'll talk you guys through it, because it, I've been testing this, and it's, it's a really awesome build. So I'm just going to move these the actual pile over here. Uh, first up, we have three Evol Tile Najash. This card is absolutely crazy. After testing it on Dueling Network, I knew this was the deck for me from Order of Chaos. I'm do I'm building Exectors, of course, but Evols were a, are a really fun deck, and a lot of people don't see them coming. And they can work goes in match, so it kills plants. But yeah, Najash is really awesome because of this little card, which I'll actually go find now, called Evo Force, which I'll get to in a bit. Uh, basically, you can normal you can basically turn one, drop in a Jash, and Evo Force it into a Lagia. Read up on the combo on the net, I'm not really going to go through that. But yeah, Serena Jash, it's an awesome card. It works with the Econ, works with Tribute Summoning into the bigger dinosaurs. Uh, it just, it is an invaluable card, got to be run at 3 in this deck. And it's a 2000 Defender when you're in a pinch, which is great for a drop. So yeah, Serena Jash. Uh, next up, I ran three, uh, sorry, two Casanarios. Uh, I dropped from th uh, three to two on Dual Network, and I found it was a lot smoother. Especially seeing as it has the special summon cards with the same name, much like Rescue Rabbit. And I found myself with a lot of inconsistency with, a lot of inconsistencies with them. So I much prefer them at two. I have Econ at three, so this card really can be over quite a few monsters. So I definitely use it for those of you who are considering not using it, unless you get into literally any Xyz after you attack with them. Well, any Xyz with this deck, you know, this deck makes. Uh, next up, I run three Westlow. The card from Photon Shockwave is still awesome. Uh, 1900 Defender is a little bit slower than the Jash and Casnario, but by no means, by no means a dead card. It's really awesome for setting up your Serato plays to search into the card, the other cards. It's still a target for Evo Force, just genuinely an awesome guy to have in the deck, and it's also a target for offerings to the Snake Deity, if you so choose to use it for that. I had to, I had to summon one to use against Gores earlier on in my testing, so. However it works. Uh, then next up, I run for my Evol Saws. Uh, three Serratos. It is the main kind of base beater of the main deck, even though I try not to use any of the Evol Saws on their own. It's great for searching, great for beating over tough stuff, like Thunder Kings, to be honest. So your th opponent Thunder Kings, first turn, you flip your Westlow, you know, they attack the Westlow, evens out. Then you get your Serato, and he's on 2-1. So you swing over that. Thunder King, and then you get to search, say, another Westlow or your Najash and things like that, Najashos and things like that. So it's definitely a really awesome card to have at three. And of course, you want to run all your Volsaurs at three because of the uh, Casnario effect. Uh, next up, I run three Volcanoes. This card is the nuts of the deck, and which is why I really chose to run it in the first place back in Photon Shockwave. Uh, I didn't bother profiling because it really wasn't that great. But it's the very fact that when this card is special summoned by any Voltile, and all of a sudden the Voltile's got amazing in this set, you can special summon another Evolsaur from the graveyard. Hello, overlay. It's just easy, easy overlays, easy... I mean, it's an easy Trishula if you can drop your Effect Veiler. I took my Effect Veiler out of this deck, actually. If you have a Monster Reborn in hand, you special summon your opponent's Glow Up Bulb, your opponent's Effect Veiler. It's an easy Trishula and things like that. So it's absolutely crazy in this build. Uh, for, next up, I run three of the level sixes. I'm considering switching out the Terrius for another Elias, but at the moment I'm quite liking having the one Terrius as a beat stick for tributing off the Najash. Uh, these are amazing either way because they let you get into your Solder. They changed the name to Solder. Um, uh, Elias is great because it's when you special summon it by the Voltile effect, you can get another Elias or a Terrius or any of the level 4s from your hand, you know, any Evil Saw from your hand that you may choose. But of course, you want to go into another level 6. Uh, they're also really great because you can use them as, you can tribute the Najash for one of them. And then of course Najash's effect kicks in when it's tributed and you would get another one. So it's just really easy to get into that level 6. And I'm even thinking of getting hold of an Exo Beetle just in case because it can, apparently it can have a Scrap Dragon effect. I haven't read into Exo Beetle yet. But apparently it has a Scrap Dragon like effect which the deck could really use. So yeah, 
the level sixes, and otherwise for monsters I run one Reaper and one Gauze, because this deck needs time to stall, and it hates big monsters, so Gauze really deals with that. Uh, onto the spells, I run the Staple Reborn, Dark Hole, Heavy Storm, one MST, I couldn't find room for the second one, because this is quite he it's quite a heavy deck, it's 41 cards anyway, so, uh, Mind Control, uh, Book of Moon. And then I run Pot of Avarice and three Econs because this deck is absolutely nuts with Econs. They can be used for your Casanario plays, you know, Jasho plays, your they can help you get your searches with your Serratos over big monsters like Leviathan Dragon. It's crazy stuff like that. And of course they've saved me from losing multiple times as well. There's such a versatile card, definitely card of the format as all the plant players are saying. But of course this proves that it's not really restricted to plants. Uh, next up I run three copies of Evo Force. I'm proxying two of them sadly because only one was pulled at the whole sneak peek. There were crazy stuff pulled but only one. Evo Force sadly. But yeah, Evo Force is the mainstay of your tribute combos. It lets you get into so much stuff. I really can't compliment this card enough. It is definitely the best card of the Evos. If it didn't exist I wouldn't be playing it. So not much more to say. Uh, next up, I run two Primordial Soup. I run nine Evil Swords. Probably going to bump it up to ten. Add another Terrius later on. But this card is crazy. Unless you return up to two Evil Swords from your hand. And you never want to have Evil Swords in the hand, ideally. You always want to have them so that they can be sourced from the deck by your Evil Tiles. So this card really helps speed it up. And unless you draw into your staples and all your Evil Forces and things like that for making the plays. So it's just definitely a really good card. Two was too many because it's continuous and you don't want to get in the way of gores and things like that. You don't want to be holding one when you've played another. So two was definitely the perfect amount of them. Uh, that's it for spells. On to traps. I run two offerings to the snake deity because they're great for uh, using um, your spent evil tiles. Because often with your... Especially with your west low, it will be attacked and it probably will live early game. And then you've just got your Xyz monster and you're doing all your nutty stuff and you've got... Just the west of those sat there doing nothing, pretty much. So these are really useful for actually getting that last little use out of them. And, I mean, again, I set one of these one turn at random. And there, you know, just to bluff. And then I managed to draw a west low, summon it, and pop a gauze in its token. So it was really, really helpful. Uh, which won me that game. Uh, I got, uh, I run one D-Prison. I only have one, so I only run one. And then, of course, I run the Solemn Brigade and a Dust Shoot. I did run... Evo Instant at one point for testing, but ultimately I didn't like it. I never drew it, but I just don't like it as a card, so I've taken it out to make room for like the MS. I took it out for the MST. Uh, either way, that was the main deck. Onto the extra because I realised um time is running on. I run one Catastor, one Brio, one Black Rose, one Scrap Dragon because this deck needs beaters. I would run Stardust, but. Again, as I said, the deck needs an ability to get over big monsters, and Scrap Dragon is much better than the Stardust. And one Trishula. I just run the Staple Synchros. For the Exceezers, I run one Solder, triple Lagia. Uh, I managed to pick up another one at Sneak Peek, thankfully. And I'm currently proxying a Dolka. I've got one on the way. I'm at, I had I sold off all my other ones before because I thought I was going to abandon the deck, and then I saw an Ajash and went, "Oh no, what have I done?" So yeah, that was uh, that's that's my Evil Saw lineup. Uh, sorry, Evolzar lineup, and otherwise I run one Levier, uh, one Leviathan Dragon, one Zen Mains, one Roach, and one Utopia. I'd possibly run Chaos Number Utopia in this deck, but I don't have the room at the moment, so that is my extra. Uh, as for the side, I don't. I I had a side, and I moved it. Oh, it's over there. Could you pass me it, please? Over by the fridge. I'll oh, forget about it. But yeah, um, siding wise, uh, I've sided things like Thunder Kings, uh, Nixies Reborn, stuff like that. Um, but ultimately, I've completely forgot what I was going to say. Uh, and I've also, I'd also found that it was really useful to side things like um, Goes and Match in this deck as well. Because this deck is almost entirely fire, so you can side out things like your Gores and your Reaper. To use things like, um, is that over there or is that not it? Okay. Yeah, this is it. You... Oh yeah, and I was also thinking of, side that's that's something that I was going to talk to you guys about. Royal Prison, absolutely awesome card for siding in. 
Effect Veil, uh, depending if you depending on what you're playing. Uh, Royal Prison, Exceeds Reborn, because I found Exceeds Reborn incredibly useful in using your do reusing your Dolkers and your Souls and your Wind Up um, Zen Mains. Uh, Thunder King was good in the main deck, but I didn't like it. I mean, it slowed the deck down. There wasn't enough room for it. So, I mean, I'd only side it in against decks that really search quite heavily. And decks which are quite beta heavy. And otherwise, I don't think I have anything else in my side deck to talk about. But yeah, guys, this has been my Evil Sword deck. I'm going to get rid of that German black right? Um, that has been my Evil Sword, Evil Zar spam deck. Um, for those of you who will ask in the comments, this deck fares very well against Dino Rabbit. I'd hazard to say it's better than Dino Rabbit. Simply because Dino Rabbit in some cases can be a lot faster because it only runs requires one card to make Lagia, whereas mine requires two. But it's the very fact that this deck is far more consistent than Rabbit and it will last a lot longer than Rabbit. If Rabbit does no DK me in the first three or four turns, I will usually win the game. So yeah guys, this has been Jamie the Kid with my Volzar deck. Any changes you guys would like me to make, uh, anything you'd suggest in your testing or any, any ideas you have, let me know in the comments box below. Um, Schedule for tomorrow will probably be a big sneak peek swag list with lots of more lots more stuff. I'm actually at quite a few trades. We've got some Zen Mighties, we've got another Zen mains in, stuff like that. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow and see you guys in the comment box. Have a good one.